Karen Martell, OriginalGamer.com, here with Emily and Jim Greer, co-founders of Congregate. Uh, now, there's a lot of people who still don't know what Congregate is. Could you please explain you know, what your site is about? Uh, I think we're the best place to play games on the web uh, and Android. Um, so basically, we've got, uh, let's see, it says that up there almost 49,000 games um, that have been put on our site by, I think, around 12,000 different uh, developers, mostly indie developers. Most of these games are in Flash, but they're all on you know, HTML5 or Unity or various things that you can play in your browser. So they're all playable right on the site. They're all free. Um, and we've created, I think, a great community, not only of developers, but also of players. And a big part of that is you know, community features that players love. So achievements, profiles, you know, leveling up. You can you know, chat while you're playing a game. People join guilds. You get comments. We've got a recommendation, like a Netflix-style recommendations engine that, based on your ratings, will find good games for you. Um, so you know, we've tried to do a lot to make discovering and playing games yeah. as fun as possible. Games are always fun, but it's more fun when what you achieve is visible to other people and it lasts and is meaningful. And I think that's the big distinction between um, playing a game on Congregate and playing games in place else. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you might be, there's, we have some competitors out there who have big populations of uh, players, but you know, once you finish that game and close your browser, you know, it's like you never played it at all versus playing a game on you know, a card game where you've got the achievements, you know, your friends can see it, you can show it off, and it's just... You have the history there. Yeah. yeah. So really, I mean, another way of saying it, it's a, it's, it's like a kind of a social gaming site, um, but I don't mean social gaming like Farmville, I mean being social while you play games. And most of our players are our core gamers. Um, so it's people who, um, you know, own consoles, but, you know, choose to play on PC and Mac a lot of the time, just because there's so much great indie content there. You guys have um, a lot of games, obviously, and the majority of them are done by indie people. Yep. And it's very easy to submit. I actually have some friends who made a game called Respawn they put up oh, on your yeah. site. Um, how, what's your guys' like process for like uh, really sponsoring games, though? Oh, so well, you know, for just submitting a game to Congregate, as you said, it's like it's about as easy as uploading a video to YouTube, um, and you know, putting the API in so we can do achievements and stuff maybe takes half an hour an hour, you know, maybe the first time you do it. So we try to make it as easy as possible. And developers start earning a share of the revenue right away, of both ads and if they choose to put in um, you know, virtual goods in their game, we, we uh, share that right away. So it's, it's pretty much um, self-serve. Um, and then we promote games based on you know, the initial reaction of our audience, the ratings, you know, people's, um, people's response to the game. Now, we go beyond that and sponsor games where we put the Congregate logo inside the game and kind of use it as a way of promoting our site. And that's really uh, mostly Greg, uh, who, who you talked to earlier, who makes the decisions on that. He's just got a, a great eye for games. So he'll work with developers before they release a game. We've got a number of developers like uh, uh, I think we've got another game from uh, Nerd Duke here. It's just an incredibly prolific developer. Uh, I think we have got like 20 of his games on the site, something like that. So pretty much. I wonder if he sleeps. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he does this. Um, but um, uh, so yeah, so Greg, and that, that's a great promotional vehicle, just kind of getting the Congregate name out there on other sites as well. So how did you guys start Congregate, and more importantly, like, why did you start it? Want to get that? Um, so uh, Congregate was Jim's idea. Um, he. Well, and uh, he had been working at EA and in, in the past had had a game studio and was trying to think of the way, think through um, the position of the developer in the um, in sort of the gaming ecosystem and really wanted, um, thought that there was room and a place for a site and a portal that made um, it really easy for a game developer, an indie game developer, to make money, control his game, still control the rights, and 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 be able to monetize their game independently. He was also working at um, uh, EA's Pogo, um, which is a great kind of community site with some of the features that we ended up using in, in Congregate with really passionate um, um, players. Bingo, <laughs> really passionate bingo, bingo player, solitaire. solitaire. Yeah. So it was taking some of the ideas um, and some of the inspiration um, that he was seeing in Xbox Live and Pogo um, and marrying up with all the great content that he saw um, um, around the web and the indie games that you know he enjoyed playing more than more than more, more than more, more than solitaire, um, and then um, he 
uh, so his background was as a um, as an engineer, and uh, we've always been good friends. And when he was coming up with the idea, he ran it by me to see what I thought of it, and I said I think it's a good game. And he quit his job. And then a couple weeks later, I was still thinking about it and thought that it was still a really good idea. And I thought that there was um, since my business was more that more more in business and marketing and things like that, that I really had something to bring and that it was going to be a lot, lot more fun than what I'd been doing, so I quit my job too. Yeah, <laughs> she's my little sister, by the way, <laughs> for those who don't know that, not yeah, my wife. Not wife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she never worked in the game industry before, so you know, we were sort of thinking, oh, she can help with the you know, planning, the business part, uh, marketing, and it turns out she really runs the company uh, much more than I do. <laughs> I'm sort of the, yeah. the, the, the one who's good at talking to you know, investors or deals or whatever, but That's good. Uh, Emily runs um, product, marketing, finance. So you know, the guests have that, you know, yeah. that, like, yeah. that Walt and Roy Disney dynamic to you. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I'm Mickey Mouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you're, 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 you're a franchise, uh, um, franchise character. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, what I'd, I guess what I'd say is that, um, you know, one of the great things about working with a sibling is that, um, you know, we have four, well, 30 odd years of practice fighting and uh, <laughs> doing it efficiently yeah. and coming to a conclusion and working yeah. it out. I mean, yeah. originally it was like, who yeah. gets we which side waste, back well, seat, yeah. But, yeah. 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 We don't waste like, you know, a week or two weeks being polite about some issue <laughs> that we disagree with. We just immediately tell, tell, tell the other person that we think it's stupid and we don't take it personally and we just fight it out and resolve it and, uh, yeah. and, 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 and figure things out quickly. That's good. That go against the usual business advice that would like to never start a business big family. Yeah, and we never started a business with somebody you never worked with at all before, and I think uh, we're, but it happened to work out great, yeah. so. Yeah. So you guys got bought by GameStop? Yep, about a year ago. Yeah. About a year ago? Yeah. How was that working out? You know, well, basically, um, you know, we started the company, we raised money from uh, uh, Jeff Bezos and uh, Reid Hoffman and Ray Locke, a bunch of great investors. Um, and you know the company was growing and uh, doing really well, and we're excited about it. We knew that um, you know we weren't going to go public. Um, you know that's, that's a very hard thing to do. So um, my top priority there was making sure that we provide a return to our investors. Um, you know and did it in a way where the company could continue to grow and innovate and, and succeed. And the reality is, you know you see you know the, the more obvious acquirers and, and some of which we talked to are you know Electronic Arts, Microsoft, Google, and the way those companies acquire a smaller company is, you know, you kind of get brought in and pretty much digested, you know, um, and uh, sometimes that works well, but more often, you know, whatever spirit made the original product work kind of gets lost in the, the larger mix. And the great thing about, about GameStop is that, you know, at its heart, GameStop, you know, distributes games to core gamers, right? It does it really, really well, does it, you know, has the biggest business in the world of video games doing that 10 billion probably this year. Um, you know, and that's what we do too, right? On a you know, on the web and on mobile and on a, a still a smaller scale. Um, but what it means is that um, you know our customers are the same. So GameStop, you know, powerful words members turn out to be awesome whenever they come into congregate. They play tons of games. You know, uh, they're very valuable, very loyal. So it's a great audience for us to market to. And there's 500 million people, 500 million visits to GameStop stores a year worldwide. Right. So it's this huge pool. Um, the nice thing, though, is that you know what they're not doing is saying, "Hey, you need to switch to our, you know, backend uh, .NET system, or you need to report to our CTO, or whatever." Basically, they they know that we know how to run a web company well. Um, they know that we know about community and gamers, you know, virtual goods, and so they really and, have and they to believe in our and, and, and our vision of Congregate and what right. it can be. So we're a very independent subsidiary. I mean, you know, we're here. In an office of, um, you know, we've got a total of 35 people in the company. We're still based in San Francisco. GameStop is in Dallas. They're doing their thing, and uh, you know, my boss is the our, our boss, I should mm -hmm. say, is the president of GameStop, and um, you know, he's he's got a great background in retail and is living the online business and is um, is really smart about it. But he also knows that you know we were the ones who understand our business, and so I mean, I think the reality is there was a lot of doom and gloom in our forums and places about oh, you know. GameStop, Congregate's going to start selling used Flash games or whatever. <laughs> and the realize I think aside from the GameStop logo, you know, on the homepage, um, most people probably haven't been able to tell the difference. So um, that's and that's what we wanted. So we were getting the resources of a Fortune 500 company um, and, um, and tremendous independence as well. Yeah, we've had both, you know, 
uh, great traffic and revenue growth in the last year or so. Yeah, and so I mean the com company was 20 people when they bought us and now it's 35, right? So we're continuing to grow and expand and do new stuff, which is, which is what we want to do. <clears throat> so as a San Francisco you know, game company, is that an interesting working environment? I know it's a couple like arcade cabinets out there. Yep, we've had Street Fighter uh, for a while and we've just got uh, Pac-Man Battle Royale, which is four-player deathmatch Pac-Man, which is I've, I've never seen ridiculous. one of those before. Yeah, well, we'll, well, we should go play it after this. It's an awesome game, basically. It's yeah, it's just you know, deathmatch Pac-Man. So, you yeah, know, it's really fun. So, um, our downstairs neighbors complained about um, actually the noise from the game, but also whenever anybody presses the start button and the you know sound starts going. Since there's only three more spots, there's like a thundering herd of the rest of the office running through, <laughs> even louder than the game itself. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, which gets at the, the real thing that's fun about being here is that pretty much everybody in the company is passionate about video games yeah. and you know passionate about their job uh, as well, whether that's you know design or um, you know customer service or you know community management or picking games or whatever. Um, so a lot of our employees are you know, players that we've eventually hired. I think yeah. we've got, you know. For instance, yeah. that guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about uh, something I think, you know, at least a quarter of our employees are people are, are people that were, were players that we got to nail and hired. Um, and they've all been, turned out to, to turned out to be great. We've got a lot of our, um, uh, a lot of our employees make games themselves on the side. Yep. So, um, one, you know, one of our engineers just had a game featured in Indie at Indiecade and won the uh, Lead of um, Dare um, um, yeah, game, game jam, jam. Comp composition. So, yeah, that, and, yeah. yeah, and then you know, Greg has made games on the side. Uh, um, uh, Anthony has also made a, a very popular um, educational biology game called Cellcraft. So, you know, it's all we all really, you know. This is what we do in our spare time as well. Yeah. You guys have an interesting game here in the background that is a pawn. Yep. It stars some of you guys. I think it? that's me. Yes. <laughs> that's yeah. some kind of uh, uh, zombie. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm going to with, like, you know, I'm, by the way, I'm controlling this video game with my brain with. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, there you can see the close up portrait of me, complete with uh, wrinkles and so forth. Yeah, this is. Um, and an evil stare. Yeah. Uh, pretty. Um, Accurate likeness, given this developer um, lives about uh, I don't know ten thousand miles away, <laughs> um, and has never met you, and has never met us. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's uh, Mayor Duke is what he goes by. He's a tremendously productive developer, and he I mean, I think it shows. I mean, there's enough people, like, even though we you know don't have any outward facing presence on the site. Um, you know, our community is just curious about who makes Kong, and you know, so he he made his characters in the game. And the game's done pretty well. So. Cool. I'm a, I have a character too. I have a bionic eye, which makes me, you know, badass. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted a bionic eye. Six million dollar CEO. <laughs> I'm dating myself for that reference. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, it's been really great coming to your guys' office, and thanks so much for having uh, our site here. You know, showing us what you guys are about, what you do. Yeah, no, our pleasure. Thank you.